a game. Uh, and, and so again, they're, they're trying to get their defense to build up their offense. Quick jumper and it's knocked down by today. Three pointer from Rosignol, swish again. You know, Brian, when, when, when really good shooters uh, are feeling it, you just need to give them the ball. And another quick game that Maine does. So we'll keep an eye on those. Offensive rebound by the Black Bears. Another three pointer from a lot. Between each other in the last few years. This was the final game of the season between these two teams in conference plays. Yeah, Albany's been a man to man as, as Maine has been the last couple of times down. Lob to Carroll by way of Sun. Over for Fonnie Wadling's minutes along with Kira Barra. A little bump there as Tanisha Sutton. Now they work it. Wing to Milan. To Fogarty for a deep three. Got it! It's going to be missed underneath as Schechter can't get it to connect. Three seconds on the clock. Fogarty throwing up the three and she banks it in at the... McNamee. Joanna went to Boston College after two years at the helm of the Great Danes. Pass into Blanca. She, she definitely looks a little bit healthier today. Already with ten points for Milan. Pass in, Rosignol for three, got it again! Right. The Black Bears now work the ball around the perimeter. Pull up jumper for three, Rosignol hits it again. Three from long range for the Van Buren native. It's almost as also a little bit of a technique that she uses at the end of the follow through. You almost can tell it's going in without even looking. You know that shot's going in. Fell off the ball, called on the Black Bears. So you see the celebration there from Paris after hitting her third three-pointer of the... Carroll works it over to Lawn, who drives in on Conroy, gets the space. South Florida taking on UConn, the Huskies. Number three ranked, it's weird to see that number so well. <laughs> with the players without the ball trying to get in position to get it on those little blocks is also phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Like so. This one just taken away from Tanisha's son. Just has frames to beat. The pass over to Milan, and that is... Sun being guarded by frames. Heist missed, height myth, mismatch, as that's gonna be a two-point basket, and instead is gonna be dropped down into Sun. Gets the pass over to Milan. She drives in, pull-up jumper is good. Driving Forster, stripped away, Dorsar. Two on two, over to Milan. Just has frames to beat. Count it and one as frames is called for the foul. Now talk about we were talking previously just about as well. Means lead now down to just 16 points, but a good feed into Sutton will answer that one. Ben beating up on UMBC before being battle tested in Burlington. Now Rosignol for three, got it again. Maurice Rosignol, in particular, the Black Bears' free throw uh, three point percentage. Probably on the arc and just <laughs> not really working out to her advantage. And I think that's where Blanca, she's a great assist. She's the court well with her teammates and where the best. The first eight minutes. Now Maine trying to get back. Waddling the up and under, feeding it to Milan, who knows how to finish that one for two. Yeah, I think Blanca looks a little into that. Right. And you're taking out the Power Five schools, of course. It's the pass into Waddling by way of Gorsar. Count it. And the foul. By Flames. What's the size differential there? The drive in, the pull up jumper, and Sutton gets it to go. And that's exactly who you want to get the ball in. 41 seconds remaining. This one off the knee of Kansi. We'll see who wins this battle. It's going to be Tanisha Sutton, who gets it to Rosignol, uncontested for the layup. 